Test, test, welcome. Just gonna turn down the volume in house here. Hopefully you can't. Hello, welcome to Zero Page Homebrew. Are you getting us? Yes, you are. That is exciting. <laughs> when technology works. Yep. Welcome to Friday's show where we play some new games. Uh huh. Play some work in progress. Totally. Yep. And we have four, four games today. That's... Ambitious. That's a third more than usual. <laughs> it is 33% bonus today mm -hmm. for you. With a 0.3 repeating. Yes. And hello to everybody <clears throat> in the chat on Twitch. Welcome. Uh, and also to all of the people who are not in the chat. Yes. But um, that can lurkers. somehow hear us. Not lurkers who are not typing in the chat. Don't lurk. Come. <laughs> <laughs> Type. Uh, I supposed to thrust 26 arena foot are all in the chat. Welcome. 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 So today we have two and a half work in progress games and one released on cartridge. Uh, one of the games is like, this is done. This is the last version. How can a game be a half work in progress? <laughs> is it did it start off as like a completed thing and then they <laughs> reduced it? So it's half we found completed some problems. and half <laughs> work in progress. Yes. <laughs> well, it hasn't been coffee, released. So yeah. I'm caffeine levels are yes up here <laughs> <laughs> above your head. Yes. Coffee is filled. Yes. It's like the little I had the caffeine and the meter went and then never mind. <laughs> It went over the top. Yes, now I've ding, got ding, this, ding, ding, ding. this period where I can be <laughs> before I get down to normal levels. Good. Uh, <clears throat> and the levels are good. I'm going to turn it up a little bit. So I find we're a little low. That's better. And when, when we get excited, it might get a little loud. Um, yeah, we have four we like games today. Oh, Thrust26 says, Good timing today. Europe is still awake. Somebody was complaining in the... Actually, I think it was him. <laughs> <laughs> I think it was Thomas, Thrust26. He says, what about the Europeans? And we I'm always like, start at this time. Is it the t did the time, time change it? change? Well, it's 2. It'd be 10 p.m. there. It's No, it's minus 7 it Depends here. on where you are 9 in PM. Europe. They have multiple times. GMT. Here. So would be 7 ahead of us. So it's only 9 p.m. What are you guys complaining about? Nine what do you do on 9 or 10 or 11? Or if you're in Moscow, then it gets like Crazy. really far. Like they've got lots of time zones. Same as here. Yeah. Same as here. And what else would you do on a Friday night besides watch two people play Atari 2600 games? Clearly. You don't have a better things to do. Yeah. Uh, the four games <laughs> we're going to play today are Marble Craze, which is on cartridge. Uh, Beware which is a work in progress. Beware. Like as in bees. Bees. Beads? Bees. 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 Uh, doodle jump. Bees, I can tell you, they're not the thing that you think you're afraid of. Wasps. Just tangent. Yeah, it's a freaking <laughs> wasp and hornets. Bees are have... afraid of stinging you. They yeah. will die. <laughs> they we have this die. California lilac at home. And it absolutely just like vibrates from bees. <laughs> and there's like bumblebees, and then there's like normal, you know, like honeybees. And then there's these little tiny mason bees. And they're just all over the thing. And you can just, yeah. they, 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 they don't, don't care. care about you. Yeah. You're not and threatening then, them. But the wasps, they just chase you around and they're they pretend they're bees. They're full of hate. They're full of, <laughs> it's not even hate. They're just trolls. They're like wasp trolls. They just want to make you miserable. They don't even want what you have. They're just like, hey. Hey buddy, what uh, what uh, what's going on? <laughs> they crawl all over you. They're, they're... like, uh... <laughs> anyways, uh, what were we talking about? Oh, the game, double jump, doodle jump, doodle jump. Now we're back to doodle jump, <laughs> which is like brand new, super brand new, days old. You baby. saw it here first, probably, probably, <laughs> and the, and then Mind Dig, which is not released on cartridge, but is done. And also the uh, Beware is done. He says this is probably the final version. So is Doodle Jump the half? <laughs> <laughs> I guess. It's, he says it's alpha. Oh, alpha okay. version. Like first release ever to public. But um, first game we're going to play is Marble Craze. And it is a paddle game. And uh, Thomas says uh, 
we better have our controller ready, yeah. our Marble Craze controller. Mm -hmm. And then he posted a picture of this like branded Marble Craze all in one <laughs> double paddle controller. We don't have that. But what we do is have uh, these, which are really short. I'm gonna have to pull the Atari a little bit closer. Move this up just a bit. Hopefully that didn't change. There we go. It's on the edge. So can you see? Pull it up a little bit. So. This is our uh, ad hoc controller. Yeah. <laughs> which we will <laughs> be using. That? Yes. And that'll that'll have to work. We'll yeah. alternate holding and, and playing. <laughs> Are you guys going to enter the homebrew high scoring uh, uh, Dana VC? Uh, yes, from last <clears throat> episode, the uh, a AVCS Tech high scores. Yes, I just I was away on holidays, but we'll get into that. Um, but we didn't get hot. We, we got, got we, we had some get the, scores. The yeah. high score, but we did get scores, and it's worth sending in. Yeah. To post. Yeah. Know? But yes, we will be doing that. Hopefully today, if I get some time to do some because I have to get a screenshot of it and you know post the timing on the video so let's switch over <clears throat> to the game there we go <laughs> let's turn up the volume here a little bit Ooh, nice music okay so it says players two oh. uh, Oh no, it's his button. Start with one player. I don't know if you have to plug in a separate controller, but we'll see. And we'll start in level one. And okay, here we go. Here we go, we don't know what we're doing. I know some of you hate that out there, <laughs> but we only play it once. Level one, easy does it. Oh. Oh, you can't go off the ledge? It's a nice little marble. Reminds me of Marble Madness, like the, obviously. Go, go, that's go, go, go! Oh, that's not the end. Nope. Multi-screen. 18 seconds. 16, 50. Well, there's a new... Oh, that's as far as I got. Oh. Oh, now you get, get it. Oh, you got a fairy extra 10 no! seconds. <laughs> Going the wrong way. Dana v VC says there's a new game already started. Oh, okay. Okay. No! I'll no! Have to check that out after. No! Eight seconds. Oh, what is oh, that? Oh, the dot? one controller's. Oh, the, you, get, you get bonus time for getting those dots. You got oh, points. Oh, eight, seven. Oh, did you make it? It was at zero. Like, you got it at zero. I, I made know. it to level two on my first try. There you go. All I'm saying is you didn't make it to level two on your first try yet. <laughs> no, not yet. <laughs> so this is Atari Age, it was called. What do you, where do you go? Oh, okay. Goes to the side. Oh. What? Oh, okay. So you just have to get to the, the edge. No, not that edge. Up a bit. 17 seconds. Now what? Oh, how do you? How are you knowing? Oh, is I am very talented. Because <laughs> there's a gray thing at the top. No, it just seems like you go toward the edge. Oh, okay. Find the keys. Find the keys. How are the controls? Uh, pretty good. They're working okay. I mean, I'm doing basically like binary uh <laughs> on and off <laughs> yeah i'm like oh there's no, it's subtlety. Full one. <laughs> there's no subtlety in my in my method it's like slamming oh, the board i found a key oh you have to oh, okay does that give you bonus time okay, down thrust 26 says you have to arrange the paddle else this game is impossible but it's not i've gotten to level two or three <laughs> He's, he's getting there. He's running out of time now, and I don't think he's gonna make it unless you get lives, maybe? Is it bonus lives? Oh, time's up. Nope, you get another 15, 15 seconds. seconds. Those are lives, okay. Uh, 
Marble right. Craze. Gra uh, Ice Bosta says Marble Craze. Great, oh, Paul okay. Great Paul Slocum music. Nice tribute platforms to Atari characters. Yes. Okay. A true trackball hack has been done, which should make it more mar uh, play more like Marble Madness. Ooh. This would be obviously a very good game for the trackball. I don't know where my trackball is. I don't really know where I go now. Down or up? No, you came from there. That's where you came from. Oh, you got the key enough to go back? Yeah. Oh. I think you came from down and you go to the left? That's what I think now, yeah. Yeah, I haven't been here, so. Trust 26 says wait until the walls are gone. I don't know what that means. Walls disappear? Is this where you started? Maybe. <laughs> I think part of the problem is that I put the controllers on the wrong side, so. Oh, okay. Time's up. One more life left. Where does it show the lives? It's little dots in the top left of the screen. Ah, I see. It's a very efficient way of showing lives, actually. Um, because you only need, like, one character for it. I mean, you could... Um, yeah, and you don't even need to use... You could use um, Playfield for that, actually. Yeah, very efficient. That's a very smart way of uh, doing lives, rather than, like, making a character. Oh, you fall, you fall off the platforms. Oh, God, yeah. <laughs> That's a problem. So he's saying the walls are gone, which prevents you from falling off the platforms in some of the levels. That would be very not good for... Uh... For me. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, I could see when the walls are gone, you would never be able to do it without no. very fine control. Yeah, yeah, yeah like yeah. very fine-tuning. Yeah, yeah. I, this would be unplayable for me without a lot of practice. Uh... <laughs> Just make sure, once you get going, make sure you have the one on that side, on this side. I had them reversed, and it really oh. screwed me out. Actually, that does help a little bit. Ugh. Yeah, I have to sit forward. Okay. Not too bad. Okay. Yeah, if I put one flat... And one kind of in between my knees, like this. It emulates. Well, you can't see it, but it kind of emulates. Uh, <laughs> can they see it? No. No, they no. cannot. But I have one sideways, and one flat. Time up. Come on. You oh. have, you're using your lives. You're just burning through them. <laughs> uh, I, I want that. Oh. Yeah. Dude, this is his spot. Oh, uh, forget it. I skipped it. No, no, get it, get it, get no, it, get no, it. No, 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 no. I, I don't have time. I'm wasting time. <clears throat> I'm wasting time. It's only good for this level anyway. Unless I was a... There's uh, one right there. Where you are. Right on top of me? Yeah. That's weird. Do you have to press the button to start? Oh. Oh, pause. Okay. If you could read the instructions, I think we pretty much figured okay. out as much as we're going to figure out. Marble Craze! Enter the Marble Races! It's the year 2064... Oh, I forgot to say, it's a new game for your Atari 2600! <laughs> <laughs> new! Enter the Marble Races! It's the year 2064, and your robot marble races are all the rage. Sorry, not your <laughs> robot marble races. Just robot marble races, Just not yours. Not yours. I don't own All this. of them. I don't own the game. Guide your remote-controlled marble through increasingly difficult levels to add Woo! to your points. Collect power bars to gain extra points and time. Don't lose your marbles! Okay, well... Zing! That's a zinger. Uh, the object of Marble Craze is to maneuver your marble through each level to finish... to the finish line as quickly as possible without falling off. Each level has a time limit. You start the game with six marbles, and you lose a life when you fall off the path or run out of time. If your time runs out, you'll be given an additional 15 seconds to finish the level. A warning buzzer will sound when your time is about to run out. Unless your volume is too low. It's pretty pretty high. On some levels, you will see white bars called power bars, which will help oh you through God. the game. Oh my God. There are power bars oh for bonus God. points, bonus time, one up, and other bonuses that you will discover. The display below your time will show you the type of power bar that is currently on your screen. Roll over power bars to pick them up. Okay. There is a special type of power bar called walls. 
that makes oh. it impossible to fall off the path. Oh, the okay. first few levels will start you with Wall's Power Bar. Good. <laughs> the walls will stay active until you finish the level. Use these levels to get accustomed to the controls. I don't know where to go now. Is this one you died on? This is the one where I just ran it. I just didn't know where to go. Okay. I don't know. Uh, do, 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 do. Uh, use these levels with the walls to get accustomed to the controls because you will find that the levels without walls are much more difficult. I would find that. Yes. Like, really, really, really hard. I Marble Craze can be played with one or two players. The screen is split vertically into two areas. Player one uses the left side and player two uses the right. Ooh. That's why that one's flashing because there are no marbles or mazes. Uh, okay. We'll get another controller then. Each level is made up of multiple screens. When you roll your marble to the edge of the screen, the game will load the next screen, and your marble will reappear on the next screen. Some levels will have slopes or ramps, which are illustrated by lighter and darker sections of the path. Lighter sections slope down towards the bottom of the screen and will tend to accelerate your marble downwards, while darker sections push your marble upward. I mean, they, they're ramped upward. Okay, never mind. <laughs> uh, Marble Craze uses the paddle uses paddle controllers. Each player uses a set of two paddles. One paddle controls the vertical movement, and the other paddle controls the horizontal. Player one uses a set of paddles on the left controller port, and player two uses the right paddles. Players will see a bar on the right and above their play field. These That's bars key. indicate the paddle positions and show you how sharply you are accelerating the marble in each direction. The two paddle control scheme is tricky to use at first, but with some practice it will become much easier. Make sure you place your paddles on a surface where they will not <sighs> slip. You made it! Yeah, there was a key. You had to get the key, which opened a pathway. Blue maze. Oh my god. But this is the bonus. Oh, it's a bonus level, okay. Good music. As was stated in the chat. The two paddle control... Okay, yeah. Do, do, do. Oh yeah, make sure you place your paddles on the surface where they will not slip. <sighs> Pressing any paddle button will pause the game. Press the button again to resume. We forget that one out. Yep. Yeah, we're very smart. We're very smart about this. On the title screen, player one's horizontal paddle may be used to change the options and start the game. Turn the paddle to highlight the options and press the oh. button to change the option or start. Dead end of the game. This is just like finding stuff for bonus. Yep. I haven't found anything. It's very mazy. Uh, game over! It was not a bonus. It was an actual level. Oh, would you have tried harder <laughs> if you didn't know that? No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you keep reading, I'm going to get the other paddles. On the title screen, pressing game select will cycle through the combinations of players and starting levels. Pressing game reset on the title screen will start the game with a selected level and number of players. Pressing game select during play will abort the game. Abort! Abort! And return to the title screen. The black and white color switch will disable the animation on an inactive player screen when set to black and white. Difficulty switches are not used in this game. It's hard enough <laughs> vanilla. <laughs> yeah, is that what it says? That's what I said. It definitely is. Yeah. Scoring. You score points by finishing levels and by picking up some types of power bars. At the end of each level, you get five points for each second remaining, up to a maximum of 250 points. <clears throat> for every thousand points you score, you will receive an extra marble. If you are able to complete the last level, you will receive a bonus of 250 points, but it's a tough one. Did we make it to level 5? Uh, no. Okay. Well, then we can't start on level 5 then. Reaching 4,000 is really impressive, but it is, it is possible to score 5,000 points. You'll have to complete all 18 levels in one game and get almost all your bonus point power bars. I have yet to reach the 5,000 mark. Good luck. <laughs> the person who made the game. <laughs> Marble Craze contains 18 levels. You okay. can set the starting level to 1, 5, 10, or 15 from the title screen. The first four levels are quite easy and have walls. Right. Levels 5 to 9 are more challenging, and levels 10 to 18 will blow your mind. No, <laughs> we'll go from difficult to extremely difficult. To get the best scores, you will have to complete all the levels in one game. Yeah. The game will play music while you play. There are three different in-game tunes that you will hear as you progress through the levels. That's your reward. 
Thrust 26 says, try different level and die. <laughs> <laughs> hints and tips. Get all the power bars you find and figure out how they work. All right. Explore levels carefully. There are some hidden bonuses. Get to know where the center of the paddle is by feel. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Good luck on that. It'd be nice to have a little bloop bloop so you can tell, but yeah. Yeah. Uh, caution is usually yields a better score. Don't waste your reserve marbles trying to speed through levels. It may help to secure your two paddles. If you want to be able to easily remove them, you might try using Velcro. Yeah. Yeah, that would work. Make sure your paddles are clean and jitter-free. Mm. <laughs> well, <laughs> one, one set is. We'll see how this other set are. The hardest levels don't leave much room for error. If your paddles are jittery, open your paddle controllers, just remove the two screws, and spray tune, tuner cleaner, available from Radio Shack and electronic stores, oh. into the potentiometer inside. Okay. To do better with original Atari paddles, my Gemini and Commodore paddles were less sensitive... I do better with original Atari paddles. My Gemini and Commodore paddles were less sensitive and required more rotation for the same effect, which for me made the marble much more difficult to control. Mm. So program by Paul Slocum, label and logo by Daryl Litz, level 12 and 13 by Manuel Polick, cartridge and manual by Atari Age. Special thanks to Albert Yaruso and Atari Age and a bunch of other people and Thomas Yanks. Who is in? Did I get it right? Is that Yanks? Who's in the chat right now? Yanks. Uh, Thrust twenty six. So let's play two player and see how these paddles are. So you go to start. Okay. Okay, one paddle's good. The other one is. Not great. Let's see if I can get it better. Ooh, it's bad. Let's try and get it a little bit better. Come on. Well, I'll just have to play it like that. Okay, get my setup. Let's see if we can make it to level 5 so we can legitimately start at 5. So I I am on the right, and Darcy's on the left. No, no, no. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> yes, yes. Yeah. Darcy had a bit of a head start. No, no, you, there's no need to, to there's no need to talk like that. <laughs> I've already lost a life. No, 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 no. All right, whatever disappointing because I definitely need them for later. Oh, 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 oh. Over. Up. Yes. There you got it. I, I missed know what that it was. one. Oh, it was points. Oh, well. Did you get extra lives? Did it say extra lives? You have way more points than me, so you must have gotten... It's points. Uh, but, oh, it's it's a bonus bar. It's a power bar. Oh. So you have... We both have walls right now. I don't know what that one does or what evidence there is to follow. <laughs> Probably hidden stuff that we're missing on all these, these levels here. But I just don't want to waste any time because these are hard enough as it is. Oh, I finished. 15 seconds left. Thrust says, I use a Rubik's Cube and rubber bands for my paddles. Oh, that, that would work really well. Hmm. Come on, Darcy. At least we're even on lives now, I guess. Oh, I don't have any... Oh, do I have a box like that somewhere? Oh, Rubik's Cube would be perfect size. I don't have a Rubik's Cube. Cube. I'm trying to think of something else. Maybe a GameCube? Let's see. <laughs> Not quite. Too big. GameCube's too big. Just have to stick with my knee plan. Okay, this one is straightforward. Right? Yeah. 
to the left first, is it? Yes. That's a dead end. 20 seconds. Extra. Okay, and back up. No, 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 back up. Pretty much my up and down are like extremes because of the... Oh, now what? Oh my god. Is this the one with the key? I don't know where you oh, found yeah. the key. Oh, it's to the left. Oh, I see. No, nope. no, that's where you start. You go down. Down, 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 I think. You better to go there. No, no, no. Down, down. Down. Ugh. Time up. Oh, why'd you put us there? <laughs> Both died in the exact same spot. We're gonna get just destroyed on no walls. Destroyed. Okay, yeah, this is the room with the key. I need to go down. Come on. Over. Key. Down. And then to the right. Ah, doing worse. Last oh, time. I'm doing way worse than last time because I'm trying. <laughs> Nothing worse than trying. <laughs> yes, to for... sap your confidence. And I now have one life for the fourth level. Oh. Can you start again? Can you come no. in again? No. You go. Okay, blue maze. I don't know. Well, this somebody said this is the adventure maze. I didn't play adventure very much. Oh, I got a dot. So if this is the exact maze for adventure, I don't know it, and it's going to be difficult and end up with a lot of dead ends. There's another dot, but I'm in a different area than before, um, than last game. So that's good. Well, looks like I'm going somewhere. Not finding any dead ends yet. Oh, and I found a dead end. Maybe go down here. That's a different spot. Good. That's a dead end. Seven seconds and one life. That's not going to happen. No! <laughs> one second left. Oh, I still have a life, but I don't think I'm going to make it. Oh, what the hell? There's like a starting position on each level, uh, no matter where you die. Yeah, that's and weird. that wasn't even where I was. No, that's weird. So is that like a hack <laughs> to, to, to get through a Sometimes spot? it has been a better starting spot than where I was. Oh my god, this game is hard. Yeah. Okay, so let's start in a level five. Hey, why not? <laughs> you have to do it. Oh, no problem. <laughs> And see what it's like without walls. Death, 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 death. Oh, that's why I was... Uh... <laughs> Easy. Oh, this looks like level one. Oh, oh yeah, no, I uh, didn't change the Okay, level. start level to five. Yeah. There, there we, we go. go. I guess, do you die or is it a time penalty? No more walls. Okay, so my paddle is crazy and will start me redirecting to the walls and meet death. No, nope, it's just a time. You just stop. <laughs> you just stop playing for a second. It's like a, a timeout pen penalty. <laughs> oh my god. I have to go really s No! See, I can't go slow because <laughs> one of my vertical paddle, my up and down paddle, is like only extremes. It's dirty. Dirty paddle! No! No! Looks like you're doing a little bit better. Oh, you do die every time. Oh my god, that was terrible. Nice to see two players at the same time. Yes, four paddles. Can't say that uh, my paddles are doing me any good. They're dirty. It's no good. But the looks like level five is nice. Oh, that's the end. Do it. <laughs> level, level five says wider, which is nice. 
Ooh, get the gems. Level six. Oh, there is one gem there. Okay. No, that's death. <laughs> well, thanks. Thanks uh, for the tip. But I'd let you know. So it looks very possible if you're really careful. No! <laughs> <laughs> um, I won this one, though. Look! 109.0! I won! Zero points. This is... Th what happens? We play the harder level. I win. That is the usual... <laughs> the usual <laughs> effect. There is no explanation as to why. It just works. It's just first time lucky. Let's go... Yeah. I guess. No, I'm still basking in the glory. <laughs> okay. Bask. Bask. Do you want to go to level 10? Yeah, let's up the level. I mean... All right. Yeah, it, yeah. It's too hard. It's too hard. Okay. It's too hard. Let's make it harder. <laughs> Just to see. Earth World. Oh, they're naming it after the sword quest and death. Okay, let's at least start even. Okay. Okay. Let's see if I can work with the jitter. Okay, slow down. No! Back! Ah! Get it! Oh! Do I still have the key? Yes. Okay. Come on. Stop. Oh! Oh! No! <laughs> this is impossible. I can't play with this paddle. <laughs> it's too jittery. <laughs> Look at my little thing. It's jittering all over the place. Ah! Level 10 is indeed hard. <laughs> really to... Oh! Slopes. So close. Slopes. Yep. Go down. Or left, or right, but there's another thing to get down. That's death! Hey, I'm trying to control it! I know it's death, Mr. <laughs> Already Lost the Game! <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a bonus points. so that's not, like, super awesome to get. Okay, let's... Can we tied that crank time? Crank it up again! <laughs> oh, tied? Oh, because you didn't get any points. Yeah. No, we both got 20, oh, somehow. Oh, because we both got that one thing. That's only because it was straight ahead. Mm -hmm. Major ramps. Joy. Joy. A ramp and a turn. And death. And death. What? Come on, at least get up to the ramp. Come on, and over. Nope, too much. Too much. Nope. Up. Ramp, and down, and death. <laughs> Oh, oh, up, no! Okay, up, over, no, game over. Death becomes us. Oh, oh! Close. Oh my god, this game is brutal. Oh, you did it! Oh, almost! <laughs> almost! <laughs> almost got around the first turn. What did it say? You get a bonus for doing all 18 levels in one game? <laughs> no, they said that you get to go... Oh, uh, good for no, you. No, they, they said that you have to start at the beginning to get the yes. highest score. Oh, That's no. all. Because you don't get points for skipping. No. Start at zero. What? Is it one more level up, or does it go to 20, or is it 15? I, I think 15 is the highest, but... Yeah. yeah. Okay. Cool. It is very Hard. good. Very it is good. very good. The controls are very good. I could see why the uh, patented... Uh, <laughs> Double. That thing that would be that would make it a lot easier to do, or the the suggestions in the book Velcro would really help. Yep. Um, or, and just practice really because knowing where the center is is important. Yes. And in particular, when you when we, we were on level something. fifteen and you had to go around the corner, center. the first trick was controlling yourself in one direction. But then what I only just started to get to was you actually have to crank it back the other way and then back to the middle. You know, like you have to like. Overcompensate. Yeah. Not actually overcompensate. You have to compensate correctly, but you have to like crank it back the other way, not just back to the middle, because the yeah. momentum and all that. So it's mean, good. It, it had an indicator <clears throat> on the screen what middle was, but you could put something on those controllers, a little knobby thing to know where middle is. That would be helpful. It would like be, but it, it might. It might be. You might be screwing yourself. 
because then you'd be limited to your controller. You if you move to another controller, you know what I mean? It's like... That's true. You want to play with can, defaults. You can, get, you can get there without that. You can. I don't know how. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of practice. I, I bet. I bet that they've they've done it. You know, I bet they've Somebody, that practice. That is a hard, hard game. Oh my God! Did you just do the thing? I did. I beforehand. was just about to remind you to do the thing. But I did it before. You did. We're progressing. How do we both remember that? You haven't, you haven't seen it yet, but I just switched <laughs> to beware before switching games. Yeah, I know. It's like magic. Yeah. So we're gonna switch over. To some work in progress games now. Oh, I have to take out the controller. I don't know if any of these use Atari Box. I don't think so, but I'm gonna plug that in anyway. Actually, I won't. I don't think these have Atari Box, so I'm just gonna plug in the first. Uh... No, I'll plug in Atari Box. <laughs> All sorts of very important decisions being made right now. Definitely. Uh, wrong controller. Right controller. So, as usual, we're going to use the Sega Genesis controllers. And I just want to show you the new shirt I got. Uh, you can take a look. Short sleeve button up shirt. And it's got a whole bunch of controllers all over it. Even, can I point this out? No, way down. There we go. 2600 controller. <laughs> Very nice. Okay. So let's transition over. Oh yeah, you play first, huh? but I'll load it up. Look at that. See what I did? Made a folder for the games today. Oh, that is clever. So I don't have to go searching around. Mm -hmm. So we're going to play Beware. And you are first on the game. Inspired by Killer Bees, 1983. Yes. The original game was called Killer Bees, released in 1983 on the Magnavox Odyssey 2. Or I think the programmer is from Europe. So he called it the Video Pack, the Philips Video Pack. So let's see, very nice title screen with a B on it. Am I the bees or the people? Oh, I'm no. the bees. You're the bees? I'm the bees! Get, Get the, the people. people! Get the people! Kill Get them. them! Turn them into graves! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I like that I'm the bad guy. This is much better. <laughs> this is much better than normal. Oh, what are shaky. those bees? Are they bad bees? I don't know. They're red bees? Coming, to... Coming for you. Don't run into them. Oh, he oh, did. what's wrong with that guy? Oh, he's freaking out. Well, he knows what's happening. He knows he's <laughs> about to get killer bead. So this was uh, made by member... Would I have to kill those bees? Member Atarian. Oh, I guess you do. Well, that's not working. No, I, I think they'd kill me. I think they did. Oh, your swarm goes down. Yeah, I noticed I noticed Whoa. that a little too late. But that yeah. is cool. Ah! That's kind of like a... Die, die, die! Die, 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 what are those things on the side? They look like ghosts from, um... Holy crap. They look like ghosts... Oh, I think I shot them. Ghosts from Gauntlet. I think I shot those other bees. Gauntlet. I don't think this screen shake is on purpose. So, I wouldn't release this version yet. <laughs> this version was put out on May 25th. And I believe he said this was, like, the final version. But there's a lot of shake going on. Oh, a lot of shaking. Oh, there's a lot of... Okay, lot yeah, of so you have to, like, run around until the arrows come. Yes. And then you press the fire button and kill those other bees if you're lined up with them. Oh. Nice. I don't know what that's supposed to be. But I don't know what it's supposed to be. Oh, somebody no. says they don't see any red bees. Ooh, it is. Oh, I'm so murdery. It's just so murdery. Yeah, there's some blue bees as well. Yeah, I don't see any red bees on the screen either. You know what? I am going to, I to do this level again. Make it brighter. Cause I can't see it. 
That's interesting. No! No! Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Sorry. Oh, I got those bees. Oh, suck it, other bees! <laughs> Try that. Yeah. Oh my god, I'm at level five. It's the first time I've played this game ever. Oh no, it this froze. is the best game ever. Froze. One second. Wait, can they not even see my victory? No. Oh my god. Of course. Of course. I'm gonna have to kill it again. No, 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 no! I'm about to. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. One second. Why does it kill this? Uh, because it's all connected. Because it's a pass through. <laughs> oh, 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 it's boss time. Where's my mouse? Ah, uh, ah, uh, gee, hose a fight. Where's the computer? I got him once. Uh oh, no, no, but he computer. fired some nasty, dirty bees at me. Oh. Oh, boss battle. I am doing. I was, but then somebody was screwing around. <laughs> Still see the no! Screen. No! 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 Oh God! <laughs> My swarm is being disswarmed. No! Oh my goodness gracious! Murdered. Oh no! I got one more time to counter murder. There we go. We're back in action. I think. Oh, yep, we're coming back. There we go. Hopefully you can see the red bees now. I did brighten it up a bit, which totally threw off everything. No! Oh, God! Oh, God, the pain! Oh, God, the betrayal! Oh, yes. Also, we are broadcasting in 60 frames a second, so make sure you pick 60, because that's what the Atari does. 60 frames a second. Especially on uh, homebrew games. Oh, okay. Because they do the flicker. B, B, B. Craziness your turn now okay and you get to read out right there you are a swarm of bees you are a swarm of bees and killing people in the original game they are more like aliens but i think killing humans is more satisfying <laughs> <laughs> there is a laser cannon there nice. at the edges of the stage they are charged after a short time in this case the counter goes up to 255 they are following your Y coordinate, so you can eliminate anyone who's on the same scan line as you. The enemy swarms can only be killed that way. I don't really remember if there were more behavior of the swarms in my game. There are two kinds. The red is easy to avoid, but the blue is following you. Okay. Interestingly, the, the video pack is weaker in many aspects than the VCS, but it can handle more sprites. Four unique, 12 pre-built, and four quad in a line and have an additional 64 bytes in the CPU added to the 128 bytes video audio RAM. Member Atarian wrote today, wow, thank you, you are welcome. This, okay, so this is a comment, I guess. Yeah, I, I said we're going to be playing this today, and that's his reply to it. Oh, okay. What did he say? Wow, thank you, you are welcome. This, is, this game has no switch to turn off music, so this time it won't happen. Uh, Marble Craze is one of the games I really couldn't figure out how to play properly, so I'm really interested. Oh, okay. Uh, there's no music in this, so I'm not sure what he's talking about. Oh, I died. The blue ones got me. The blue ones are, are uh, I guess, the mean ones. So... You try to kill the people, you murder them, they're so... Oh, just juicy everywhere. humans to, to murder. And you have to wait. You have to wait until that comes up and then kill the other ones. Okay. Boss. Okay. And now you face the boss. Hey, you have gotten yourself a bonus life somehow. But how do you... F you avoid the boss. Oh, and use the same tactic? Same. You, you have to shoot him. And he has some swarms come out. And I believe, although I haven't killed any yet, I believe you must shoot them to get rid of them. Because uh, they, oh. they are... They're not actually following you. But they are moving so fast that it's hard to uh, avoid them, you know? Right. Yeah, and you lose some of your swarm oh every God. time. Oh, now hit. there's two. Yeah, yeah. Oh, my God. 
The oh. boss battle is really hard. I hadn't. I wasn't. I wasn't ever successful at shooting at any of the en uh, enemy swarms, and so uh. I. Uh, well, the boss battle is suitably hard. Yes, it is. Um. Oh come on. I just appreciated that oh. I was able. Did you kill one of the swarms, or I did in my last round? Oh. It's really hard to kill the swarms. They're moving all over the place. Yeah. Much easier to hit the boss. Yeah. But that's kind of normal for a boss battle. He sends out the swarms to distract, like his minions to distract you. Come on. My tactics are to just stay with the boss's level and just like hammer on the the boss. You have to go down into the swarms level to avoid the boss when he gets to the edge of the screen. But the rest of the time, you seem to be able to stay up there. God. Come on. Why and I think shooting? he goes towards you, the boss. He does seem to do that. He doesn't just go back and forth or anything. He does have a bit of movement towards me. How many times do I have to hit him? I guess it starts over when oh, I die. Oh, yeah, you have to start mm -hmm. over when you die. And yeah. I hit him a whole bunch of times. That's three or two him. that I got him now. Yeah, uh, I, I think I hit him like five times. Uh, come on. There we go. That's five. Oh, it just based on hits to him. Yeah. How many guys he sends out. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. It's not... Did I get him? Oh, he's mad. Uh, oh, you got him! Oh nice. my god, so it's like five. So I must have only gotten him four times yeah. then. Felt like I was hitting him. Game all. beaten. The game? The whole ba game? I won. The whole game. Nice. Or not. It's good animation. It is a little bit janky. <laughs> I think it's a little, a little jittery, but it's... No, this is like nothing's happening. I won the game. So it's... There's a limit to what the game is at this point. Yeah, yeah. Beat the game! You're really close then. Yeah, I'm happy to stay where I was. Oh, I'm doing... Oh, look, it says I beat the game. <laughs> Let's restart it. <laughs> um, oh, my thumb got sore winning before. I really... I, I like it. Um, it's got some nice little mechanics going on. I like the super laser. Um, the boss is is damn hard, and, and it should be, but not impossible. I mean, I beat it my first game, <laughs> the whole game. Uh, yeah. But it does jitter quite a bit, so that needs to be worked on. Um, like, it's crazy here. And it looks like because there's more things on the screen, mm -hmm. maybe some calculations are a little bit off. And it's, you know, drawing it at the wrong... Um, starting in the wrong line, or it's drawing too many lines on the screen. Thrust26 says, correction, it still needs quite some polishing. <laughs> As he said, it needs some polishing. Everybody says, that's it? <laughs> yeah, I mean... That, it definitely, maybe he's saving some more game mechanics for the final release on cartridge or something. Um, like, uh, more levels, and this is like almost a demo, but it didn't say that um, in his post on Atari Age. But I think, I mean, it, it is a port of an existing game, so, you know, he's going to duplicate all the game mechanics uh, that are there. And those are hard to see. Like, everything's going nuts. Like, the blue and the red are very hard to... Uh... Yeah, I was able to kill the bees easier last time. Yeah. The blue are hard to see because they're not... They they're do invisible disappear most of the time. Yeah, they are disappearing. Oh, they're back. So the... the I the red ones that time. The flicker handling is not great um, in terms of doing all of the things evenly. See, I thought I was on the line with the blue bees there, but they yeah. did not die. Because <laughs> at some points, like, it's got the ghosts on either side. It's got, like, graves and you and blue bees. So that's one, two, three, uh, four, five, six things on the same line. But it's jumping like crazy, which does not help. I suppose to says I've offered to help this author. Yeah, there's not... I think a lot of these things could be... At least the jitter could be correct. I think my score easy. is higher than yours, and I haven't even won the game. <laughs> so well, I you just... did do a lot of shooting at the blue and red bees. Did you get them yet, you think? No. 
I missed him that time. Oh, he's flashing. So he sent one of his swarms. I out. definitely hit him. Uh, you have a lot of lives. One time. Left, which oh, is I did good. get to swarm there. Oh, you did. Good. Actually, you know what? That's a good tactic. You hit him again, so he released another swarm. Oh, and now he just hit, a, hit him again, so he released another one. Now you have to start again. It is a work in progress, right? Um, I, I swear he said in the forum that this is, like, ready for release, like the last version. I'm going to check on that right now. But I... I think he should maybe take that back, or if he did say that, because it is not ready for prime time just yet, but it may be ah. I did not read that correctly. Uh, let's see. Da, 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 remember Atarian? Uh, la, 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 la. Cool, we'll be giving this a spin. Uh, yeah, it's on foolish. May 25th, when he posted these, this version, uh, version 0.24, uh, he said, I think these will be the finals. That's what I took to be like, this is it, this is the game. But it's definitely not ready. Um, maybe nobody has tested this on real hardware yet? I, I don't believe that. That's hard to believe. When did he start this? April 30th, so he hasn't, he hasn't, it hasn't been out that long, so maybe nobody's played this on real hardware yet? That's hard to believe, too. Oh, God! I think the okay. programmer is Hungarian. Uh, let's see, does he post where he's from? No. Doesn't say where he is from. Very f oh, this is is this the guy who does videos? The is this guy? It looks like the guy. There's a guy who does uh, Atari 2600 videos and other videos too, I think. Yeah, that. If this is the guy, yeah, he is a very very strange, funny uh, YouTube uh, channel. Um, Definitely go oh, check that god. out. Oh god! Oh <laughs> god! You got five bees left? Oh, oh. Have you almost killed him? You got did him! It. All right! You won the game! Hooray! One life left. Two life. Three. Three? What? <laughs> well, I got one for getting score, uh, I guess. Did you get lives? High fives? We beat the game. You beat the game. That's it. I'm never playing again. Quitting while I'm ahead. <laughs> Um, so what do you think? Well, it was fun. It yeah. is. I think it be, will be a very... That's not a pun. It will be a very good game. It's really hard Once to it's not iron, make the puns. Yeah, it's a very common word. When it, it's all ironed out, all the jitters and weirdnesses and maybe better um, flicker handling so you can see things a bit more constant. I than, like that you have a swarm and that as you take damage, your swarm just gets smaller. That is kind of cool. super awesome mechanic. I love that. It has damage in a really nice way, rather than a bar. Yeah. I don't think I've seen that no. in any other game that I've ever played. It's always a bar or a number, rather than, you know, visually, you're getting more damaged. Yeah. Um, no. Well, actually, both. In, like, Doom, or um, where the guy's face gets more and more... Or Wolfenstein 3D, where it's Oh, face... in other games I've seen yeah, it, but I meant for Atari. I Atari. No, 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 because yeah. it's too hard to represent that. Yeah. Um, I'm looking forward to him working on it a bit more and trying it again. This really can't be the last version. It's not not possible. I hope he sees this. It is possible. That this <laughs> it is possible. Well, it it's is a good. game. It, it is a game. It is playable. You're playable and you and can... beatable. And beatable, yeah. <laughs> and there's challenge to it. It's I'd, just, it's, it's, I'd be a little it's upset. It's a bit rough, but it's... I mean, I'd be upset if that was the end of the game. It did surprise me that we beat it on <laughs> our your first play. My, yeah, my first And game. my second play. And yeah. we've discussed before about how bad I am at games. <laughs> so, at Atari games. So, it's like, yeah. you know. Yeah, <laughs> it, sh it should just get harder. Like, just do it over again and add more things in. Or Once you have this 
or start. What you just said, yeah. though, can be done just by getting this hammered out and then just making it harder, right? Yes. Yeah. So like, or uh, yeah. Uh, throw more guys at you, like you kill some more, and they just keep coming out, make levels longer. Or you have to kill the guys quickly enough, and if you don't, then some of them can go over and they can like res their buddies. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Very nice. Yeah. <laughs> yep, that works. Well, uh, let's move on to game number... Give them like a hypo injection yep. in their leg, and they're like, oh, Cring I can fight up. on. Yay. Yeah. Uh, so, let's just... Uh, oh, where's the controller? Switch that over, and I will get it properly. Doodle jump. Ha, ha, ha. Okay. I, full disclosure, I added this game a couple days ago to the list of games we we're going to play because I, I found it and went, oh, that looks pretty cool. He just released this game like days ago uh, on the yesterday, actually. This is the first build ever of it, first release. And today I played it for an hour <laughs> on on the on Stella, on emulation because it's, it's good. It's really good, even at this first alpha level. Um, so it is Doodle Jump. Oh, okay. So I will say right off, I like that he's automatically jumping and I don't have to press the button. <laughs> yes. Yeah. That's fun. Uh-oh. I, I died. You died. Oh, again. <laughs> so this is Doodle Jump by uh, Dion, oh. or as he's known on uh, Atari Age, Dionoid. Uh-oh. And this was released two days ago. A Hungarian would be making PAL games and on NTSC would jitter. Um, he did, just going back to the last game, there is an NTSC release and a PAL release. Um, we did play the NTSC release of it. Um, nope, I died. But he probably didn't test it because he is in the PAL region. But, and I guess nobody over here in NTSC land tested it for him so here's his test and he needs to work on the NTSC version um, we could play the PAL version um, because oh no <laughs> all, this, all this works on PAL so uh oh <laughs> oh <laughs> I mean, I've played many times because you only get yes. one life. Yeah, it, it, games are short. Even even when you do well, they're not that long. They're like a couple minutes, unless you're an expert at it. The left and the right. Oh yes, the left and the right of the screen on Doodle Jump is connected, so it's wraps it wraps around left and right. Oh. Arena I Foot's, just wanted to see. <laughs> Arena Foot says, "Love this doodle jump game." Yeah. Um, Arena Foot posted his high score in the Atari Age forums on this game, so people are posting their high scores, which is a very good sign for a game. Uh oh. Let me know when you want to hand it over. Never. <laughs> this is this is exactly the type of games I like. Simple straightforward it's like wall jump ninja it is that's what i was going to say it yeah. is exactly like wall jump ninja you're just you just go except Here you different go. but yeah except it has a similar thing except it's totally the, different it's the not needing to press the jump button that i like yeah which is exactly in wall jump ninja it's the opposite instead <laughs> you of only you only press only the damage. jump button but it's similar it's like you're j you're not you have one less thing to control so uh, yeah I'll start there Doodle jump by Dionoid, and then a build number. Yeah, I already read that. <laughs> oh, okay. Hi, I'm currently working on Doodle jump for the Atari 2600. See screenshot below. Imagine in your mind's eye. <laughs> screenshot a below. screenshot that you FYI, can see on the screen. <laughs> FYI, I initially planned to build this game for the Commodore 64, but after reading Racing the Beam a couple of months ago, I decided to buy Very myself good book. A Very good book. Everybody who likes Atari games or Atari 2600, should definitely read that book. A couple of months ago, I decided to buy myself an old Atari VCS and learn to program this strange, limited, but wonderful machine. 
I've got the basics of the game working, i.e. bouncing doodler, vertically scrolling platforms, score at the top, and occasional springs that give your jumps a boost. However, I'd like some feedback on playability. I've included both the PAL and NTSC ROM files for you to play with. The NTSC version looks fine in Stella, but when I played on my TV using a Harmony cartridge, the colors look weird. I guess that makes sense as my machine is an Atari 2600 PAL version. Is there anyone that can test this ROM on a real NTSC machine and TV? Well, yes, we can. <laughs> I'll, be <Im> <laughs> I'll be improving the game in the coming weeks. Adding a high score feature is high on my list. But first, I need to do some refactoring to keep the code clean and structured. Dion. Okay, don't read the rest. We'll leave that till after. So my high score. Ah, ah it put me in happens. a void. I know. It, that's, <laughs> happen, that's what the, the springs are a mixed blessing. They are because you, they're great because they make you go crazy high, but they can throw you anywhere, and usually into a terrible void. I like that you can ah. that you can go really far. Horizontally. Yes, very fast left and right. Yeah. And I must say, for an alpha build, the controls are unbelievably good. Like, it controls exactly how a, ah. a full game would. Like, le the left and right is amazing. The, f the um, gravity physics of the dude is awesome. His, his arc of his jump are ve is very natural. Um, and his nose. His nose is very good. <laughs> yes. He's very a colorful guy. Good points for his nose. Yeah. It's nice little colors. The sound is totally appropriate. It's not annoying. The little jump noise. It's blip, blip, blip. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I can't remember what my high score is. It's like 2,000 something on the... I posted it on the forums because I was just like playing it like crazy this morning while well, I was there's a glitch there did you see that uh Every yeah I actually I... found one where uh I hit a platform yeah and he jumped and yeah. then when he came down he fell oh okay. and I didn't I was pretty sure I hadn't moved maybe I did though but I I I once I I think he jumped at like I moved over and let go of the controls and then he seemed to uh fall after jumping yeah so i was obviously i was very close to the edge anyway as to whatever the uh limit is yeah there are some oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> movement glitches where it kind of pushes you over a little bit and you'll see that during the gameplay here every once in a while and it does make for a terrible experience <laughs> I'll play one more and hand it back to you. Ah, ah. <laughs> that you was go. the one more. That was it. Thrust says, looking good so far. Dion is in the chat room. Oh, there we go. Dionoid Games. Yeah, when ah. I first, very first started playing this, I was like, this is a perfect paddle game. Um, it may give better control. Um... It may be weird with the paddle. Like, would you make it so the paddle is an absolute position, oh. left and right, kind of like um, Kaboom? Or would you make it where you, you have inertia oh. and putting it left starts making him go left and, put, and turning it right starts making him go right, which would be more fair and more akin to what's going on here, where you're pl pressing right. One thing is, at times, the spring... Yep is showing yes. from the bottom but the pat uh, platform isn't that's fine but if you see the spring you can use it are you sure yes i've done it many times oh, okay it's yeah. just that like i thought you if you I've touch actually, the bottom you died so. i've actually gone on a platform that's off the screen oh and okay. it still works so it's just you can't see it but there is a little bit of buffer like no minor, like a line or two or three or four not much uh, and an assembler, he said. Yes, I think. Is this assembler? Um, oh, Dion Games said left and right at the screen, screen and doodle jump. Oh, welcome, Dion. Thank you for making this game. It is beautiful. 
Beautiful start. No. Oh. Um, I just wanted to try the side to side again. Every time I do it, I die. You make it look easy. I think it's harder to move side to side using Stella. Well, I don't know about that. <laughs> I'm do I did better on Stella than this so far. I got. Uh, let me get my score. I'm sick of guessing. <laughs> Sick of guessing what my score is. Doodle jump. Alpha version. Ah! Uh, ah! 2,616. So 2,616. The thing I learned fairly quickly with this game, it is not a race. There's no reason to go fast. The only time to panic is this time when the spring shoots you up, because then you have to go, oh, where am I going to go now? Ah! <laughs> but you can deliberately, like, not move. Like, just wait and calculate your next move and calculate the next move. Uh, 2600 game Bellhopper is simu similar. Uh, can you use joystick or paddle? 2600 need more, needs more paddle games. Well, the paddles always die on me. I have, like... Five sets of paddles, and they're always jittery and dirty, and I have to nope. open them up and clean them, and such a pain in the ass. What was your score? 2,616. Wow. Yeah. I got 704. Really... That's pretty good. Uh, arena foot is 804. So you have to... Oh. So piss off arena foot <laughs> by beating his score. Give him some incentive to do better. Do better. Thrust, 2080 for me. Oh, yes. I'm in the lead. <laughs> world record. <laughs> so much easier getting world records on Atari 2600 homebrews. <laughs> Pac-Man world record, Donkey Kong. Ah! Those are hard. Those are hard to get world records. Ah! <laughs> ah! Ah! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it's intense. It's just what happens when I uh, when I die is I scream. <laughs> like, just the mechanics, just the basic mechanics of this alpha build, of just jumping on platforms and a super boost, is enough that it's better than so many games out there already. And it's really good that he got this solidly working. Like, every mechanic in here, there's absolutely no problems. Tiny, minor, minor glitches that crop up very seldomly, like the, the, the little push that pushes you off the ledge a little bit. Um, I did notice, I don't know if it's by design, but you don't need to fix it, um, that you can land on the ledge of a spring and not hit the spring. Oh. But it's like on the very, very edge. But That's kind of cool. But only on the first jump on it. Mm. Because you're lower than the top of the spring. That's fine. Which makes total sense. So I don't think it's a fault. I think it's, if it's by accident, it's a happy accident because it totally makes sense. You have to hit the spring to go up. But if you're hitting Ooh. the bottom of the spring, that doesn't make sense. Um, ah! Ah! Dion says, uh, yes, there is logic to make sure the gaps are not too big, which I totally thought because he can only jump so high, which makes sense that you can only put them X so far apart. That's a danger of jumping up using the springs. You like aim for a platform and then you go, oh, I went off the screen and you die because you, yeah. you banked on that platform being there. Nope. <laughs> My turn. All right. You said you're going to be bad at this game. I was. And then you got better. I didn't get 2800. I got better. No, I I I, I, I like this game though. So I must, <laughs> there must be some. It's like Wall Jump Ninja. I'm not good at it compared to other people, but I'm good at it compared to other games. Right. Yeah. <laughs> so therefore, it's fun. Yeah. Yeah, your jumping looks much different than mine. Like you have this particular arc. That, uh... It's, it's mine is more tapping. like ah ah each time, and yours is like I'm gonna go here. 
<laughs> now I'm gonna go here. It's a tapping motion, not a, a holding motion. But it doesn't look like you're no. uh, tapping. It looks like you're going. Ooh. <laughs> Anyways, you've got 1600 there. The guy does. Something. The guy does stop immediately when you stop pressing. Yep, that's I like that. Yes. So there's. I mean, there's nothing wrong with uh, inertia either. No, it's fine no. In games, but I'm not very good at it when it's like that. Inertia is hard. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, I should have wrapped around. So he is looking for suggestions on, like, there's nothing, there's no bugs really in this part. So I we... say add some bugs. Every once in a while, there will be a bug on a platform. Yes. And then um, <laughs> you can get guns too, uh, and guns. <laughs> like nose guns. Ah, because the button isn't used, so that's available. And you already jump, so you don't need it for jumping. I would prefer you didn't use those ideas because I think they're terrible and the, the game is better as it is. <laughs> Sometimes uh -huh. people say a thing and then I just I just say another thing and and that thing's maybe not good. Is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm not so sure about guns. Guns are good. Gun <laughs> guns are good. What are you into gun control? <laughs> Video game gun control. <laughs> Video game gun control. Yeah. <laughs> No guns in games. All peaceful butterflies ah. all the time. Oh, you got it. Nicely. Oh, no, don't jinx me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're going to jump. Oh, you're going to fall. I don't fall. <laughs> I'd be really mad if you talked to me like that. <laughs> oh, I slipped off the platform. So what's my live record? 17? Uh, 16, 17, 16? something like that. Yeah. Really? High 16 is the last I looked at. It might have been higher, I guess. <laughs> Luckily, there's a record. Of that is true. Oh, you hit the platform without the spring. Ah, okay. So there's it. the demo of that thing happening. <laughs> Mark your time. It happened when <laughs> just before this the waving strange motion. waving motion. Oh, uh, that that is a problem with two-hour streams. I'm trying to find things that happened in the stream. Yep. I had it with the ROV, same thing. You have like the yeah. big long video, and then you're going through and you're trying to find the the, the, the cool thing, or whatever. Yeah. Um, I guess you could like write it down, or is there stopwatches that like record a time? There, I did it again. I thought it would be great to have <laughs> as part of your app a button that you just hit, and it makes the screen red for a second. Just bow, and it makes it, it oh, just puts something right. on the screen. Some. Like the, equivalent, the equivalent of a clacker. It could be right. a clacker, but the equivalent right. of a clacker making a noise and uh, a... a, a uh, clacker like, bam, I can do it in the microphone and you'll see a little jump. But in two yeah. hours, it's nothing. It disappears. But you will hear, you'll have both. But that's why I said, like, if the screen gets red, you can just have, and then it knows what to look for. Right. You know, so it can look, you can look for it by sound and you look for it by... You could do this. You could do... <laughs> right? Yeah. Cover it up. And go... Ah! <laughs> that is very visible. Uh, let's catch up on here. I'm using the default TIA collision detection. No! Oh! So if the doodler's feet must touch a platform or a spring to jump, what are your plans? Adding all, adding all features of Doodle Jump, bells and whistles, title screen. Oop. It's a bit like Splatform from Swoops. Yeah. I mean, this is not. A wholly original idea. There's many, 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 many games like this, um, where it's platforms and you're going up, or platforms you're going right, or platforms and you're going down, like fall down. Um, that spring adds a no. lot to it, a lot to the game. That yeah, spring does, yeah. changes everything. Because I've played games where it's just these platforms. That's that's about it. Um, and the spring just makes this unique. And ah. anything else he's going to add to it is just going to, you know, make it even better. Um, next version of the game starts when pushing the fire button. Thank you. Keep the score on the screen. It was very difficult to get um, screenshots of my high score because it goes away in about half a second. So I had to go, oh, screenshot, print screen. But I did it. I did miss one. I think I got like 1900 and I missed it. And I was like, oh my God. Then I got higher. Uh, and there will be a high score feature. Very cool. Definitely try and get a um, Atari Vox slot key um, for when you put this out on cartridge because this 
even here, just this deserves to be on cartridge. Obviously, adding more stuff. Um, more boosts behind, besides the springs and enemies you need to avoid. Yes, definitely that would be one to put in. Enemies that are either on platforms sitting there. You could call them bugs. Bugs, yep. And then Add some bugs. Then, uh, then I'll feel as though I contributed. <laughs> don't do that. <laughs> don't do any of You don't want to... You don't want to use my ideas. They're not very good. Um, oh. Things that fly across the screen or patrol a little area like left and right near one of the platforms. Um, another idea I thought of when I was playing it earlier is that oh. you can collect items like a super boost, or like a rescue, like um, like a jetpack, a one-use jetpack, that if you miss a platform, you press the button and it'll... It'll rescue you from falling one time. Um, or another boost where it's like a, I don't know, a super jump. But, but you already have jumps. There's no point in, like duplicating that. Um, Some of it, oh. though, is the simplicity is, is what I like about it. Yes. And adding too much stuff. Well, you can you add can it always, later levels. You can later add it levels. later levels and you can also add it as like a board game expansion. <laughs> I, I'm that that I'm not kidding about. Like you could have it How? like you could have Second Super cartridge. Doodle. Oh. You know what I mean? No, just as an like a setting. Oh yeah. Just yeah. jumping or jumping plus has this as the basics. Douchebags, yeah. Yeah. Um, you can just call it practice. Yeah. And still give a score. Yeah, practice score. Um, another one is like um, on Mappy, where they have the trampolines. And if you jump too many times on one, it breaks and you fall ah. through, and you fall through. And that would be a very, very easy mechanic because I know these are all done by Playfield, and none of them are on the same level at this point. So you just change that line to a different color, and then it disappears. Uh, Dion Dionoid Games Dion says um, great suggestions, and he will keep it simple. Um, also, you could start with bigger platforms, like double platforms, and then reduce down to these smaller sizes um, to make it just start a little bit easier for beginners. Um, just for the first level. And then, and then, you know, obviously make them spaced more and more apart as it gets higher. Um, I haven't noticed that it does get more spaced apart yet, so we, it's probably just the same thing all the way up at this point. Maybe remember a few lines that have scrolled off the screen and scroll the other way to possibly save yourself. Yeah. That's that I like that. Yeah, that's interesting. See the screen the spring? Yeah. Still worked, yeah. Yeah, I was hoping to hit it. You did. I did. <laughs> but then you died. And I died. Uh here's some suggestions that were posted on the uh -oh. forums. Um obviously this one would be better. This is by EA Smith. It'd be better if you when you die it doesn't automatically restart. That's an obvious one. Um, perhaps background color changes. Obviously, that's a really good suggestion. As the cha the colors change, you go higher and higher to... So you have a mental note of, oh, I made it to orange. Or I made it to purple level. Um, that would be a really good one. Uh, might give a sense of progression, variety. Yeah, I made it to green level. He said that. Um, how to figure, figure out how to handle it if someone gets a max score. Well, that's... That's just programming, that's not... So far it's in the four digits. <laughs> I've been able to get it to. Five digits is gonna be a challenge, but definitely not impossible. I was a quarter of the way to, to five digits. Um, I assume you're gonna add in enemies to some score thresholds. Yeah, so those are all decent uh, suggestions. Okay, one I'm more. getting worse. One, <laughs> 64. <laughs> Not I, really. Like I, I, got I reached that. I reached that point where uh, progress is not happening. <laughs> it's now just yeah devolution. Yeah, it does get to that point. It's at certain points. Remember, there's wraparound. Yes. Oh. Oh. I'm gonna see if I can get a live new high score. Oops. Oh. But that to said to that. I beat my other one by uh, 23 points. <laughs> nice. I think. <laughs> That's 
it's hard. Very hard to get the springs when there's like a little level See, right I above was gonna it. Say, I was going to say the thing with the springs is that the suggestion that maybe you could fall a little bit back down yeah. was good. Except that the springs are actually worth lots of points to hit. And so it's yes. good that you're punished Oh yeah. Uh, by needing to like maybe save yourself by using them. Yeah. Seems fair this way. I think it does. Going back a bit on the screen. Mm. It's very good that we all have so many opinions. <laughs> it's like, I'm not kidding. Yeah. Like, it, it's really good. It means, obviously, uh, we like the game, or we wouldn't... We'd be like, we'd, ah, If we whatever. thought it sucked, we'd be like, oh, like, Stupid I game. have no ideas to save this game because I hate it so much <laughs> that I don't care. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but that we're all like, oh my god, put this and this and this, and it'll make it awesome. That means that, you know, you care about a game. Ah. Oh. Sorry, kids watching out there. <laughs> I swore. I swore. I swore. Ah, not that this this stream is swear free, but I just don't generally swear that much. <laughs> ah. Up. Up. <sighs> Down the gap. Great. Oh, I was going to get that. Oh. Very challenging. At certain, like, it's totally random. Like, you don't know. It, there we go. Where are the, gonna are the levels random? Um, I mean, I, from there game were a to couple game. of starting. There were a couple of starting positions that looked similar mm. enough that I thought maybe the, that it wasn't. It, it seems right. random to me. Yeah. Generally speaking, but there were a couple of starting points that, yeah, they may have only seemed similar. Yeah, I, I think it's pretty random. Is it? Is it random, uh, Mr. Mr. Dude, Dion? I'm sure it is. Nobody says. <laughs> Didn't say. Well, he has to. We have to catch up on the stream, and then he has to type. And... That's, oh! <laughs> See, punishment. You could have gone the other way. I could have, but the, the wraparound is something I don't think about a lot. You know how you mm. overcome that? Think about it. <laughs> Play towards the edge and only jump back and forth across the wrap. Oh, unless there's a spring. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but like force yes. yourself to go that way, preferentially to go that way. And teach myself like that yeah. is the way to do it. I'm not going to do that. No, you it's should too do hard, that. It's too hard to get like... Oh, it's too hard to get better at this game. <laughs> too hard to get the precision. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at that. Did you see that? There was a glitch. No, I didn't it, see it. It, I didn't hit a platform. It went bloop and pushed me over. I didn't see. And also, when it draws a new screen, when the game restarts, mm -hmm. there is a bit of a glitch, a little vertical shift. Mm -hmm. So you may want to look into that because it does cause issues on TVs, new TVs to cut out, and Framemeisters and other things. Oh, little graphic glitch there. Whoa, whoa. Sometimes you 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 just go blink, 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 up, up, up. Yeah. Ah, 13. Yeah, I really like the springs. Yeah, they're fun. Like, they give... They, <laughs> they feel fun. Yeah. Yeah. They're just the right amount of boost. And they reward you. Oh. Yes. And they punish you. Yes. It's the it's best, really the perfect. The best situation. games are risk reward games. Mm -hmm. Where it's good, but it's also bad. Yes. <laughs> Love that. Love double springs. Oh, that's too far. See this seems like it would be on a higher level, this board configuration. It's a huge gap. And well, like so you I said, it seems like it's random. Pseudo, oh, pseudo random? Yeah. So it is random. Oh, okay, so it is this just the starting positions are standard. Yeah, that is that counts oh, as random. Okay. So the starting positions, ten different starting points, and after that, it's totally random. Ten. Okay. Uh oh. 
We have 10% of uh, battery on this uh, thingy left. Oh, that's... Um, it's bad for your uh, tablet to drain it that much. Oh, did you give an alert? Yep. I'll go get my battery charger and plug it into that. Oh, yes, please. <clears throat> ah, slam! Okay, I'm gonna go nice and slow and deliberate, not rush. Oh my god. Over, up. Nice and slow. Oh, it pushed me. I blame the game. I blame the game. Excellent. Well, that's a short cord, but I guess you just put it on the bottom. Sadly, we will have to move on from this game. I, I was going to say, actually, <laughs> earlier, it's, it's, uh, it's time, probably time to move on. Yeah. Okay, last game. Because this is game three, right? Uh, yes. So we have one more to go. Any more suggestions of things to add in? Oh! You could have springs oh. on the bottom of platforms. When we hit though, they shoot you back down. <laughs> that would be very terrible. That would be awesome. <laughs> and all you need to do is make sure that they're not forced jumps, but that like they're obstacles so that like they can yeah. only appear there if there isn't a platform where the standard jump would hit it. So yes. like it could be there. Right. And so it could be in places where if you jump across, you might get shot down. Right. So you would have to definitely avoid them. And it doesn't kill you. It just shoots you down to a lower area. Yes. Anyways, I'm just saying that maybe of all the ideas I've had, that one might be the best one. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. No, that's that's decent. Okay, so, and uh, Dion thanks us for all the feedback. You're very welcome. Right, I'll start the game. So now we're going to play Mind Dig. Mine, dig. This is version 30N, and uh, this one was released uh, a year and a half ago, and it was. Uh, I like the little dude. Yeah, said to be the final version. Um, so I don't know if this is in the works of being. Uh, oh, oh. <laughs> being released in some form. This is by Mojo Filter. M O J O F L T R. Hmm. Um, all these games you can download yourself in the Atari Age forums, um, and you can play them on Stella on your computer. Or, obviously, if you have a uh, Harmony cartridge, you know all about this. So this is kind of like Dig Dug, kind of like uh, Balder Dash. But nothing's collapsing. And Dig Dug, there's things coming after you. So it's not really like that. But it's it's a digging game. So it looks like there's... I played this barely. So there's diamonds. There's you. There's mines oh, that I kill see. you. I see. Red is danger. Red means that you're beside... So this is, oh, and a bit of Minesweeper then. Yeah. Right? With, well, kind of Minesweeper. I was like, really. I'm dying. I must be missing something. <laughs> and there's a little guy at the bottom. Uh, fire button, maybe? I don't know what he's, maybe that's for the last game. Oh. Uh, I was just Testing. Dumb. I was just dumb. <laughs> just dumb. One more try. Oh, it's uh -oh. red, white, or white. That's bad. Like, it just means you're near one. It's random. It means you're right beside one. Minesweeper's me. like that, too. That is true. You do have to take risks on Minesweeper. So this is not a game you can blaze through. It's more strategy, a little bit. Not luck. What did you do that for? You I knew. Risks. I knew. That wasn't oh, a risk. Oh, okay. 
Okay. Oh, green. It won't tell you if it's perpendicular to you. It'll it tell, tell you. you no, beside. it'll tell you. It'll tell you if you're near one. I think. I could be wrong. No, go see. It says green there. Yeah, but there. Oh. Right. You have to be. Oh. On an Further, angle, it won't tell you. Uh, angles won't work. Oh, yeah. It's only if you're about... It's orthogonal. Which, which gives you more information, yeah, actually. Yeah. Not less. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, green. What is that thing? Glitch? Mm -hmm. Go back up. Go get it. It's a glitch. glitch. <laughs> it's a little glitch. Found the glitch. Found a bug. Woo! You can't release it yet. <laughs> you have to fix it. Fix that green line. Oh, it's gone. Oh, it has something to do with leftovers of the diamond. There are three colors. Yeah, green, yellow, and red. Green is fine. You won't die no matter which direction you go. Yellow is like you're two away. And red is like you're right. You will die if you move in one certain direction. So that guy's proving to be very difficult to get to. Oh my goodness. Uh, it's going to be red. Oh, okay. So you're hedging your bets. Is it three all the way along there? Probably, yeah, there would be. You only get one life, right? Or no? Yes, one life. One life. You have one life to live. Yes. There you go. Oh. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh, no. it, but it's above you, for it sure. Might. Well, it's there probably, is one above you, but there it could depends. still be one to the I right. don't know what the rule is. I would say that it would be... What do you... What? Oh, I see. Oh, you're leading him out. Rescuing him. It's interesting that you have to go to the bother of doing so. Well, he's trapped. He's oh, I see. He's collapsed mine, right? I'm guessing. Great! He started to... Oh, no, I think that was just because he was on the same line. Oh, the flicker? He what? just dimmed, and I thought maybe oh. he was dying. <laughs> He's dying. His oxygen level's depleting. <laughs> no, you're still going. You haven't died. Oh. Right. Level two. I forgot that you don't finish the game on the first level. <laughs> yeah, this isn't beware. Be, is it beware? That was what it was called, right? Yeah. Beware. Yeah, it's not beware. <laughs> you don't win the game immediately. <laughs> so this game, um, Mojo Filter, this build uh, was released uh, 2016. Oh. Oh. oh my god. Oh. Oh. Your safe path has been erased. But you don't die from it. I guess you've got... That's interesting. So it's collapsing, but not killing you. Hmm. And this is the December 24th, 2016 build. I'll get Darcy to read the instructions after he dies. Oh, it's slow. Does that feel slow? Is like going... Oh. And you're dead. I thought that it was beside me. But I guess there might have been two. Yep. <clears throat> there you go. Dig down into the ground. Wait, uh, uh, mine dig by Mojo Filter. Uh, dig down into the ground to collect diamonds and rescue trap miners. Avoid buried mines and, uh, with the aid of your mine sensor. Green, no mines within two spaces. Yellow, no mine within one space. Red, you are next to a mine. Proceed with caution. Controls, reset. Switch is reset the game. Yeah. Fire, begin game. Move to next stage. Joystick, four directions. Move our hero. Look at this. This is really funny. Look at my score. My score is amazing. That's why I thought maybe he was dying. So I can just do this. Oh, no, I can't. <laughs> but you don't get much for moving. I so know, but you still get point. points. Yeah, one compared to 27,000. You do. You do get points. If you're willing to go dit, dit, dit. So... You probably shouldn't get points for moving through no. a space that you've already cleared. So this game can't have a high score like you can't play for high scores in this game because someone will douchebag it yes <laughs> they will it well it wouldn't be douchebagging if you did it and bragged i guess that's true 
and people would be able to see in your video that you are a terrible person. Well, it would only you'd only be a terrible person if you were trying to trick people. True. And but you, you'd see it right away. If, like we were doing that, recording it on video, be like, yeah, you're just racking up points. It took you fifty thousand hours to get the high score. Yeah, it slows down when it's clearing off the. It does. Uh, Okay, uh, <laughs> Mind Dig has six randomly generated stages. One, basic. Two, collapsing ground. Three, monster moves randomly, steals diamonds, and buries tunnel. Monster. Okay. Four, limited oxygen. Pay attention to the air gauge. Five, monster. Oh, God. Tracks player, steals diamonds, and buries tunnel. Six, in the dark. Oh, God. <laughs> so it's... Are you, oh, my God. Credits. Go. Is where we are in there. Okay. Yeah. But the first... It doesn't seem random. Like... I got the same second level as you did. And it always is this level's the first one. Uh, six random... Oh, randomly generated stages, not randomly ordered stages. So they are in the same order. It's just not the same exact game. Uh, credits. Batari, Ju Oh, a bunch of people. See if I recognize any of them. Uh, I recognize Random Terrain. He does a lot of programming, typing, web page stuff. Uh, nope. And my students who play tested the game in its earliest stages. Mind Dig was built with Batari Basic. Um, Batari Basic games seem to have this look to them all the time. They're very, I don't know, they just look, have a certain look to them. And this has that look. Uh, because it's made from like building building blocks. Oh, the doorbell. Is it games? Is it video games? I like video games. Hi, I'm I'm winning. <laughs> I have twenty five thousand and ninety eight points. It's pretty good. I I mean I don't want to brag or anything. I'll just play again! We're hoping this video game's coming at the door right now. I don't know how likely that is. It might be very likely. I just blew right through a red warning sign there. I was just like, pfft, warning schmorning. The cats are protesting. Yeah? There's stuff all over the floor. I know, that's why I said when I was up there, there was There's a, stuff all over the floor. a certain amount of uh, money on the floor. <laughs> it's just and everywhere. There's paper. They're like going nuts. Going absolutely crazy. But that's okay. It is getting close to their dinner time. Um, okay, let's catch up on this. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Your turn. There's a lot of stuff here to read. Oh. Uh, right from there are three colors. A lot of stuff to read. <laughs> People are now going nuts. There are three colors, but like Minesweeper. Out loud. Uh, Thrust 26. My first computer was a Commodore 64. I got it age too. 13. Uh, that's pretty much the same age I got my Commodore 64 as well in like. I don't know. 86? 80 something. No, I got it earlier then. I got it in like 84, I think. Because in 86, I was already He didn't like... say 86. He didn't say anything. Oh. <laughs> what did he say when he was he 13? He got his first Commodore 64 when he was age 13. Okay. I was oh. just relating to me when I was around that age. <laughs> and then assuming him, he was the same age as me. That's not uh, how on, math works no. at all. No, it's not how it works. <laughs> he goes on to say, I wrote some games in basic back then. I'm a software me developer too. now, so thinking about game logic is natural for me. Yes. Four months ago, I learned assembly on the C64. Who's, who's saying this? Uh, Dion. Oh, 
the yeah, Illinois you, games. The yeah. guy who played, uh, made the last game. Okay. Yeah. So I'm thinking about game logic is natural for me. Four months ago, I learned assembly on the C64, but kind of moved my attention to the Atari now. Just four month impressive, says Thrust26. Yeah. Dan ABC, that's... Dan ABC, that's interesting. Thrust26, I like this one too. Oh my god. Ah. Uh, what? It's a dead end everywhere there, unless I'm... Well, it only seems to be. Take a risk. Yeah, it does only seem to be. Oh, there's, oh my god. There's information, though. Ah. Uh. I'm just gonna like there. See? Yeah. Now you know. Yeah. Okay. But mm, there still could be one to the left, to down. Yeah. There's red everywhere. Oh, that one's not red. I'm just gonna dig everything. Everything. Dionoid Game says I bought all the 64 bytes assembly courses, which are very very good. Mm. I like the colors of this game. Yeah, it's very colorful. Lots Arena of colors. Foot says it reminds me of the colors of Wall Jump Ninja. Which, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. The backgrounds. Yeah. Thrust 26. Yeah, the scoring should be fixed. Oh, because of the moving around. Yeah. Arena Foot, yes. The bombs are random, not the stages. So the stages are the same. Uh, the bombs yeah, are yeah. random. That makes, that makes more sense, sense yeah. about what random means. I, look, I can't. I've dug every single thing. Red, 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 red. There. Okay, now it's red. Red. But you red, know that... Red. But go up, go up, go up, go up, up. See that little nodule? Oh. You know that that's red. The one to no, the No, 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 the nodule. That's that one. You know that that is a bomb. Okay. Because it's the only thing there. So but it's it could... less... A, it could be, but it's less of a risk <laughs> to go down is the point. True. Right? Okay. Now it's and you know that that nodule is a bomb. There we go. Oh, the one sticking out? You know Definitely. that is. Definitely. You know it is, right? So... It, there down. might be one down, but there you go, right? Oh, oh my god. But you didn't so get did your diamonds. To, I did have to take risks, though. Uh, but I'm not Where's sure the of the rules. It might be it might be risks. Yeah. In, in Minesweeper, it's a risk. Yeah. But that's just the game. Suck it up. <laughs> it is the game. I don't like games where it's... Muffin! You, know, you, you can't be sure, and you're just rolling dice. It's terrible. It should be based on skill... And that's it. <laughs> Just skill. Pure skill. There, there, Muffin. And mathematics. And other cool things. Oh, no! This one's hard. Oh, because it just falls in on itself. Oh, no. Now it's all red again. We caught up? No. Okay. But you keep talking and interrupting me, so I just stopped. And <laughs> I, just, just gave I just up. gave up. I just gave up. <laughs> Uh, the bombs are, uh, the score display is always the same for B basic games. Oh, here, you carry on. Oh, is that why I recognize the look of it? Uh, it's the score that gives it away. Uh, question, do you know if some homebrew games are built with Batari basic? Um, yeah, quite a, quite a bit of homebrew games are made with Batari Basic, and you can make, like, really good games, like... There's also the yellow that like, gives you information. If you step away from a thing, it, oh. then, and it's green, then it's not there, because yellow will come up. Yes. Okay, that would help a lot. Yeah, Zippy the Porcupine, Panky the Panda is is really impressive Batari Basic game. Like, unbelievably impressive. It's got great level design, great music really good graphics like everything is really good about it and i finished it uh and zippy the porcupine is on its way i actually ordered a bunch of new homebrew games from atari age uh the other week um uh i posta's dk arcade 2600 oh really did i miss that it was made of atari basic good job um space Ca cactus kenya can't, pff, Space Cactus Canyon. That is hard to say. Is Batari Basic. I I played Space Cactus Canyon on um, just like on Stella and downloaded it. And I just I just didn't get the appeal. I just don't understand. Some people seem to love it, but I, I just don't understand the appeal of it. It's just too too simple, or I maybe it's just not for me. I I played it, but it's like. Uh, I just don't know. Spies in the Night, yeah, yeah. Trash, yes. Really, is that 
trash is Batari Basic? That one's looking really good. Um, is that the guy? No, that's. I'm thinking of a different game. That's great. Trash. Mm -hmm. Where you collect trash. I haven't played that in a while. Um, I posted Batari Basic 1.0 has two double line sprites. There's a multi sprite kernel. Version 1.1 uses DPC plus chip and has less restrictions. Obviously, DPC plus um, support for Batari Basic is a huge bonus. Um, and has less restrictions. 10 players on a single line. Wow, that's really good. Oh, player one is multiplex nine times. Oh, so you can't choose um, the multiplexing balance, um, which is good in a sense that your player, your the guy you're controlling doesn't get nuts, it's just the enemies get worse and worse and worse. Um, I play-tested play Zippy. Yep. Um, Arena Foot, Diana Games. Uh, you can look at my comprehensive uh, homebrew list, and I have all the homebrew games that were made on Batari Basic listed. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Um, Arena Foot is the unofficial dude who keeps track of every single homebrew game in existence very very comprehensive list and that's really cool that it does show which games were made in assembly and which were done in batari basic and arena foot uh, eventually you're going to add a, have to add another uh, column or entry for that for the new programming language that's coming out from spiceware called spice c spicy yeah play on words um but he hasn't released anything yet. He just says he's working on it, and I'm not sure where it lies, where it has to, if it ha completely replaces assembly or if it works alongside assembly for the um, the the chip on the harmony cart. I'm not sure. Um, Thrust twenty six says I'm usually not too big a fan of Batari Basic games, too many bad apples, but some are really good. I feel the same way. There's a it's quite a glut of Batari base. Oh my God! Good job. There's quite a glut of Batari Basic games because it does give you the the tools to start making a game quite quickly, but they don't seem to get too advanced, and a lot of people stop after a little bit. Um, and it does limit you. I mean, I haven't done any programming in a way, but it obviously does limit you on what you can push. Yeah, I'm definitely in risk mode now. Yeah, I can't remember the way you came in. Oh! Spicy. Yes. But, yeah, there's been some very good um, Batari basic games, and you just have to dig through, dig through the crap to get the, to the good stuff. Okay. I'm going to give this one more try. I like it. You do? Yeah, yeah, it's good. I mean, it, it's a good kind of puzzle. It's a puzzly game. Really. It makes it really hard game. when the uh, tunnels uh, cave in because yeah. you lose your information. And, mm -hmm. like, I was in a spot where it really did... Like, I guess I just had to either remember or play quicker. Um, <laughs> yeah, that... Yeah, so there is some action-y to it. I had to go through the logic quicker or something. Or memorize the way you came in. Which can be difficult if you've already started collapse a long time ago. If you have to memorize, it does. Uh, That's a problem. <laughs> um, well, if you have to memorize, well, and Batari Basics do that a lot with that, that kind of writing. Great. And I believe it has a way to do that. Those intro screens as well, like. Um, That uh, Pan Panky the Panda has an intro. Oh, that was risky. Um, has has like that really colorful opening screen. So that's fine. Sorry, what were you saying? If About you're, information? There are times when you can tell because you're one step away yes. and you're green, not yellow, and that means that nothing orthogonally within two is going to be. Oh, God. Are you in level one? No, no level two. I, that's what I thought for a second. Like, wait a second, what's going on here? I didn't press. I didn't press twice, but it thought I did. <laughs> yeah, I think the control. You can play. You go ahead. You try it again, there, Martin. <laughs> <laughs> oh, see, it did it again. <laughs> you play three times. Go on. 
I don't know what what other what was the other game that did that that we were like oh my god stop pressing twice and it was super uh, it was the cool uh, tri uh, uh, puzzle game where you had the oh. alien ships and yes. you were trying to repair them yes yes I hope he so it's your joystick <laughs> it is so you have to be really careful with it and not hold it down you have to just tap it let go the diamonds are just for bonus, right? Yeah, just just uh, points. Yeah. Just points, James. That's Only all they're points. for. <laughs> when there's levels, I care not about points. I See, don't that care. means it's green in the center, which means that uh, you yes. can go two in either direction. That is right. See? That's very helpful. Should I get that? Get the points? <laughs> so it's green, so I can get it. Green. There That's you fun. go. Points! <laughs> 25,000 of them! And that's fine. Ah, much more helpful. Green, 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 straight down. <gasps> that's so good. So one, two, three, four, fifth one from the right. Green, green, good, good. Woohoo! Easiest. Easiest Path level two ever. ever. <laughs> wow. Wow. What happened to that dude? Oh, it's the monster. Oh, and another. Do I have to rescue that thing? What is that thing? Is that oxygen? What is going on here? Oh, it's jumpy too. Oh. This was made in. Oh, he's eating the diamonds. Yep. I don't care. This one, he doesn't come at you. Oh, he just care. steals your diamonds. I don't care. Eat all the diamonds you want. Eat all the diamonds. What's happening in the chat? Wasn't it sad when there was nobody in the chat before? He does kill you. Oh, he kills you. I said <laughs> he doesn't come at you. He seemed to be coming at me. Uh, but... But he has not. to go somewhere, and you <laughs> kind of stick where you are. So, But what I'm saying is, like... Uh, I trusted your words that he doesn't come at you. He said that the the type of levels are, are set, and the first monster yes. does not come at you. The second monster does. Okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. Which puts a fire under your puzzle-solving ass. <laughs> it sure does. <laughs> okay, uh, I don't know if you want to play once more. One more. I am done. I made it to level three. I'm very happy about that. Because it's not an easy game. That is for sure. Uh, what were we saying? Uh, so Spice C is another compiler language like BASIC. Uh, I suppose it says the assembly will be done, will be canned in Spice C. The logic will run in the ARM processor you program in C. What? <laughs> so, spicy will be the logic that runs on the arm, just like how uh, is kind of done right now. Like, I think that's how it's programmed now. Please forgive me. There's actual programmers in here, <laughs> and I'm just talking on my ass. Because right now, as far as I know, you do assembly and they make calls in another language that is like C right now that you program the ARM processor in. Ew. Um, let's see. Oh, I think the problem is with polishing. Too many people do 80% games and miss the last 20%, which really makes the difference. And is really the slog of any project, right? Is the ending, is the cleaning up. It's not the fun time anymore. He's concentrating. I just like the full control over you get over the machine with assembly. Oh yeah, for sure. And it teaches you a lot more about the system because you are directly talking to the machine. There's no extra levels between you and it. You are, you know, you know, putting bytes and bits directly into things and making making it happen. And you know, dividing by seven. Um, yourself not you know typing divide by seven in uh in basic and it, it becoming like a really like you can do it a lot uh a lot more efficiently too if you know all the all the oh you made it level three mm -hmm. Woo! 
Writing your own stable kernel by counting all the CPU cycles is really rewarding. It's like a complex puzzle. Yeah, it's almost like a game in itself is making a game. Oh, oh. so many bombs, so many dead, so many death. What did it say this level was? Is that a monster? That's the monster. No, the one in the bottom left. Uh, that might be oxygen. I don't, I don't know what it is. It doesn't look like, like someone you're rescuing. Eyes. Yeah. It's the oxygen demon. It says, it just says monster. Mm-hmm. Steals diamonds and buries tunnel. But obviously you're supposed to get whatever that is. Presumably that's yeah. what you're going for, yeah. Cool. Yeah, that was fun. I yeah, liked it. It's it's got a it's got a lot of challenge. Like it's got a lot of replayability. Yep. Um, because each level is so very very. Different. I like the I like the logic mm -hmm. puzzle part of it. It's I mean you have to do it quick. Yeah. As it's, you go on, I mean the first level obviously you can take your time, but. Yeah. So it's very much like Minesweeper, in terms of that logic, you know, with the ones and twos and how close you are to things. Yeah. And and then it's got the Balder Dash, kind of effect with the water filling up the tunnels where things the mine collapses essentially. Mm -hmm. um, and it's got diamonds and mines and things to rescue and things to get. He's still playing. <laughs> That's kind of cool actually. Mm -hmm. You don't see many Atari games that do this, where the game just keeps on playing. It doesn't care if you're alive or dead. It's like, eh, I'm gonna get the diamonds anyway. <gasps> Got them all. Now he should just, leave. He, he should just, leave now. Yeah. Looks like he's kind of leaving. Oh, no, he's coming back. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Spice will have display kernels, like Draconian. Oh, nice. No play field. Uh, three channel music kernels, kernels with play field. Oh, nice. So he'll build things, like little structures, for you to make games easier with. So it'll be kind of like Atari Basic, where it has things set up and you kind of plug it in, um, so you don't have to recreate what is already established. Because there's right. there's perfect routines for very monotonous things that everybody makes in a game already. Why recreate it? I rewrote the kernel for Doodle Jump like three times. For some, uh, for some that might be too frustrating. I assume. Uh, Thrust twenty six. Yes, it requires some kind of brain damage <laughs> <laughs> to a program an assembly. Yep. Okay, let's go back to the main video camera. Um, I just noticed. Yes. On here, I can't see the starting uh, ladder oh, that you can on what? there. So the contrast on this screen is off. Not so. Oh, it's barely there. Yeah. Oh, let's see if I can change that. Because I was not that it mattered, but I was yeah. searching for it in one game. Oh, there you go. Standard. Yeah. Standard. Standard's pretty good. Okay, well. Stick with standard next time. It's just that the blacks are a bit bright on standard, but it's not too bad actually. I'll go with standard next time. That's yeah, it matches that closer. And the the thing down oh, there, not that I know what better. it is, but it it's looks a, a cat. Bit more. It, look, it, it's I don't think pink, pink ears and a tail be. and lo, lo, it long, does look like that. Long yeah. Japanese eyes. Long Japanese <laughs> eyes. <laughs> so everybody in, in anime eyes. Inter, internet land could see the ladder. We couldn't. <laughs> you guys had an advantage to us. Uh, so, pretty good mix of games yeah, today. Yeah. Uh, so, what were they? Let's see. There they are. Marble Craze. Hard to control. Really hard. Mm -hmm. If you have the controller, it would be like yeah. a really good... Yeah. Like, it really dealt well with the momentum and all yeah. that. I just, Realistic. You know, it's the sort of game that takes practice to get used to, but it was, it was really well done. Yeah, if I ever played it again, I would use that trick of... Um, rubber bands on a little box. Yeah, that would work really well. Um, but super challenging. Yeah, I yeah, think really I would do better with the proper controllers. Yeah, for sure. Um, beware. I liked it. Yeah, it was I fun. liked it a lot. It was fun. It shouldn't end there. It was very short. <laughs> and It gave me a uh, satisfaction of having finished an Atari 2600 game. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Um, Everyone we, should play, beware. <laughs> yeah, because you can finish it. Maybe but you on might your, only play it one time. Is the, the You, <laughs> might, you might finish it on your first try. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, if you irons out those bugs, uh, which he obviously will, because hopefully uh, irons out the bees, <laughs> uh, if he sees this, uh, I'm sure he will. I'll post it, whatever, in his thing. Um, 
and gets rid of them and makes it continue because I'm sure the arcade game or the original game didn't stop there. Cool boss. Very, very cool boss. And it was awesome that you got to go around and murder people yes. really easy. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> sting, sting, sting. <laughs> ah! Uh, doodle jump. Awesome. Really good, yeah. I think that is like the winner, if there is a winner. It's the one I like the most. Yep. Yeah, it was really good. We would have kept playing it if we For... didn't have self-control. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I may even play it more later. Um, I, may, I may actually revisit it. I hope he adds some new stuff and we'll maybe go play it on the show again and again and again as he adds new stuff. It's just that fun. Yeah, yeah. It was like good. if I found out, found out about Wall Jump Ninja before it was released, I'd be doing that. I'd be playing it all the way through its progression, every yeah, yeah. every build. <laughs> so I'm really looking forward to new builds of that. And Mind Dig, um, this is supposedly a finished game because he did it in a time period for a school hmm. project. Did we even read that out? Yeah, I didn't did. hear that part. I liked it though. I liked the the. Oh yeah. Already said that I liked it. Mind Dig was built in Batari Basic using the vis Visual Batari Basic IDE. It is my first Atari game, and in its current form, only took 26 days to write. Um, and Neo Tokyo posted on that game today after I said we were going to play it. There's still a shortage of on the chips needed to make the cartridge versions of this. So I'm guessing it uses DPC Plus or something. Um, and Tremors, another game. I haven't heard that game. Maybe we should check it out. Uh, as soon as Albert can make the cartridges, I will release Tremors. I have everything ready to go except for the carts. Seems to be more talking about Tremors than, <laughs> than this game. But they're related because he can't do either of them. Yeah. Um, so I... But, yeah, so I guess this one is going to be coming out on, on cartridge soonish. Um, maybe in time for the Portland Retro Gaming Expo in October, which I'll be at. Check me out there. Tanya and I will be there. Um, if you want to say hi... Um, we'll be all over the place. <laughs> we'll be going for the three days. Um, let's see. Uh, I've encouraged the maker of Mind Dig to finish out some of his other games. They're really quite good using play fields as cutscene movies of a few frames, but he creates faster than he polishes and finishes. Too bad, a lot of potential. Um, you should redo Marble Craze with a better controller setup or the trackball version. Yes. Track bar ball with marble craze would be very cool. Like, super awesome. Because it emulates joystick, the marble. And you could just use a Trackman from uh, Upside a down Logitech uh, Trackman. Yes. Like you I could buy a really up. old one that uses the DB9 pins. Or you could use one that's new and available right now, is what I'm suggesting. A USB that doesn't plug into this? You just have to figure that out. <laughs> I'm just saying, get to it. <laughs> there are DB9 to USB adapters, so you can use But it use probably wouldn't go this. the other way. Yeah. No, I, I've looked. Yeah. I didn't look super, super hard. I'm not surprised. Yeah. That why, would be very weird. Why would you need that? Why well, for this. That's why you would need it. <laughs> so the five people will buy it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and Get you, to it. And it'll cost $200 each. So. Yeah. <laughs> um, this is a good game. Um, in its form, it's totally fine. can be released. And it looks like it will be. And there's no glitches, right? No, I don't think I so. I saw some jumping, some screen jumping. Um, but nothing game-breaking. I think it was in the second level when the it started filling in. Um, but good. Good overall. And also... Um, oh, I was going to talk about it, some other stuff, actually. Um, I'll talk about this. I went to... Um, I went to Cuba on vacation. That's why we were away for two weeks, Friday to Friday. Um, we missed three three episodes. Didn't miss them. They didn't exist. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we weren't there for them no they just didn't happen because I was away um, and I was looking up video games in Cuba and did it happen do they exist can you play them apparently they don't they they were banned like oh. it's illegal wow um, because partly because a lot of them are made in the US and they don't want anything from the US in Cuba and you can't buy them anyway because the US won't there's trade embargoes, right? Sure. Um, and they're just illegal in general. So there's like an underground video game, you know, happening that is in Cuba where they um, secretly import game systems 
like the NES and Super Nintendo and all the rest of them. And it's like underground cafes at people's houses where you pay a dollar to come in and you get to play all the games. Um, same with like movies as well. They, you can come and watch a movie at some guy's house for like a peso. And, right, right. Uh, so, yeah, video games cool. don't exist. Because I, I was like, oh, after I got there, I was like, oh, I wonder if I can go to flea market and look at, you know, Cuba video how about, games. How about or... Russia? Did they have their own video game systems, like in they, the Atari and Commodore type I, era? I only know about um, arcade games. They had their own line of arcade games mm -hmm. um, that were only in Russia. Mm -hmm. I don't know about game systems. Um, I know they had computer games because you can't really... If you have computers, you can have computer games. It's hard to restrict flow of computer games. Yeah, yeah. No, I meant consoles. Like, did they... Because, yeah. like, in, in Soviet Russia, they had all sorts of their own... Obviously, their own brands and, and electronics and stuff. Did they have... I, d I really doubt they had any I version of so. consoles because they... What did they do? They, well, they prioritized production... Right. But not consumption. Yeah, not for like they had the the problem they had in Soviet Russia was not that people were poor; it's that they had mm. money and nothing to buy. Oh, okay. and we had this at the store. We have this we had this board game, and the board game's theme was that you would line up <laughs> to buy things from the store <laughs> when they came in, and you had to be right in the front of the line, and so you had to like up you had you had a certain number of tokens and you had to put them oh, in places to line up to funny. get things in the store and oh. some of the time you just lined up to buy the thing so you could sell it on the black market oh. and like all this stuff because the big deal was that they had when when the wall came down yeah they found out a whole bunch of things so one of the things is that they, we, you think of like the p people in eastern germany as having been poor or something like that yeah. but the first thing That's they did was they came over and went into the shopping mall and bought things because they had money and nothing to buy. Wow. And if you went into their shopping... That's the opposite of what you think. Yeah. Uh, and I mean, I'm not saying that... Like, I don't think that that lasted. I think that, like, there weren't jobs afterwards. Anyway, yeah, whatever. Yeah, I don't yeah. know the whole situation. But at some point... But in their like malls, that. you would go in and there would be all these things on display, but nothing to buy. <laughs> yeah. Wow. And because, so, like, they, Because it was walled off, like... They, you know, yeah, but and they it was controlled. Oh, but they also... But they had their own things. They, okay. The reason they didn't have things to buy is that priority was put on production of other things yeah like tanks, <laughs> tanks and use up a lot of resources yeah th so they had this policy of like maximum like employment and production but it was all producing not consumer goods <laughs> right like, consumer they, goods were very low on a priority is the thing yeah. right it's okay. weird it's really and really interesting yeah but like crazy weird and it's, so i answered my own question they probably they, they, yes. It's unlikely they would have had uh, well, uh, video games like Atari and people making games for them because Cuba, they just wouldn't have had the things for it, right? But Cuba, Cuban people didn't have money to buy it either. Like, But they did, I think they did before the Soviet Union Oh, yes. That, that they might had. have been different then. Yeah. 1990, after, they're just poor. They have mm -hmm. no money, no goods. There's nothing. There's nothing. They eat what they grow and all the rest of that. I don't yeah. know about pre-1990, but it did talk about not have. They just couldn't get it in, too. Mm -hmm. But they may have had money to buy it if it was there. Yeah, I don't so know I'm what the sure. situation was. Yeah, I'm not saying they did have money. I'm just saying it was might have been different. GDR had video games. What is G? Oh, uh, that's British? a German. That's East Germany, I think. Okay. So. Oh, that's cool. Um, they only had one, just a Pong console. <laughs> oh, okay. In East Germany. Okay. Well, that's fun for the time. Gets a little tiresome, I think, after five or so years just having Pong. Yeah. <laughs> well, that is interesting. Jealous you went to Cuba. Um, yeah, it was raining. It was the rainy season. Uh, make sure you don't go in the rainy season. Yeah, don't go in May. <laughs> <laughs> no May. No late May visits. Yeah, go in the go, winter. We hit the, just at the beginning. Yeah, go in the winter when it's uh, sunny and warm and not raining. It's terrible. Unless you want to see storms, right? Yeah, we had a good light show. It was like you know lightning constant lightning um no noise so it was really far away um or just didn't make that much noise it was just like lighting up the sky and it was like a fireworks display so we got that one of the nights mm -hmm. the rest of it was cloudy and terrible and i remember yeah. that time here we had the big lightning storm display and Once then the next day we found out that it was 
not lightning, but a Transformers. Oh. Transformers exploding on yes. the North Shore. I remember that. And, and yeah. we're like, oh, that explains why the lightning was green and blue. <laughs> <laughs> like, like green lightning. And the whole the whole horizon like that. And <laughs> everyone saw it. Yeah, everyone. Everywhere. And it was also explained why the multiple like lightning kept hitting the same spot. Because <laughs> we could see it. We saw what it the hell? to see like the source and it was like boom, boom in the same spot. And it was very strange. That's exciting. It was exciting. Um, I think lightning might have caused that, though. I think there might have been lightning. And, anyway, so. <laughs> yeah, it must have been. It wouldn't have been clear sky, and then we assumed it was lightning. It must have. Oh, no, it was definitely cloudy and prepared. It might not have been lightning that caused it. It might have been wind or something like trees knocked over. I think it was quite stormy at that time. Um, yeah, let's get back. I know, super interesting, right? It's totally video game related. <laughs> and we should have been talking about this while playing, but... Um, uh, uh, I have a thread on the Atari Age forums for Zero Page Homebrew, and I'm trying to keep up what games are coming up on the show. And I've gotten three weeks ahead, or three shows ahead. So you can go there, and I will just tell oh, you... Oh, right somebody got zero. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, good job. <laughs> oh, no. Am I signed out? Come on, come on, come on, come on. Nope. Yes. Ah. Uh, okay. So... You can see it's under homebrew discussion, which is a pretty relevant place. And then go to zero page homebrew, which is it's near the top because I keep posting there. Uh, oh, it's down a bit. People have been posting in other things. Good. So the next show is Princess Rescue Revisited because I think we can get a lot further. That's on Wednesday. Wednesday show. Yep. Yeah, uh, next week. And then we're going to play Anguna uh, ah. and try and complete that. And uh, you're probably not here next on Friday. Wednesday, on next, next Friday? Friday? Yeah, probably not. No, probably not. So I'll keep adding to that and planning. And I did put in a big order to Atari Age. Well, a medium-sized order. The last order what was huge. What is next Friday? Is it the 10th? Uh, 8th. Ah. Um, so I'll be having getting some more games in. And we'll be trying to do some more work-in-progress games. Trying to do a nice mix. It's always nice to see new games coming up and, you know, give some feedback. Yeah. And thankfully, a lot of the programmers are always able to show up. Yeah, that's really cool. Yeah, so you get really direct feedback from people watching us play and from us, and we can see glitches, and, you know, it's really, really useful. So, uh, anyway, that's it, I think. Yeah, oh, 4 o'clock, good timing. Just after 4. I thought we'd be over today with four games. But we squeezed them all in, got a good play. So we'll see you on Wednesday, as long as nothing weird happens. Um, we usually play around 7 p.m. Pacific, 10 p.m. Eastern. So we'll see you all then for Princess Rescue Revisited. Bye-bye. Um, Bye. -bye. Bye.